Hello and welcome to a Pilates Show Extra. Today I have the esteemed honor to be next to Madeline Black. She came into our Fusion studio to um, actually film three wonderful workshops, one of them I got to be a part of. And so why don't you tell us a little bit about each of the workshops so that our viewers can really know what to look out for. One of the workshops I focused on the first and second rib, the upper region of the thorax because we always are working with scapular humeral rhythm in our mm -hmm. training and we seem to not pay attention too much to how important those first two ribs are to not only to when we reach our arms overhead but also how it helps with neck motion. So I introduced looking at some asymmetries, we did some release work for this area, Wonderful. and then we did some uh, motion and strengthening actually for this area. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then the uh, second workshop we did was my uh, psoas as a core muscle. I can't so wait to see this. So as you know, it's a big topic. I mean, there are books out about it. There's always, and there's a lot of confusion around the psoas because it's a very complicated muscle. It has two different supplies of nerves, and it has fibers in different directions. It crosses from your diaphragm all the way down into your legs. So there's a lot of different uh, information about it. There's some new research that's come out. So we explore that a little bit. And what's important to me is that people can see how when the psoas engages uh, with the back muscles in coordination, the whole core engages. So to me, the psoas is more about stability and core mm -hmm. than it is actually hip flexion and spinal movement. So that's what we explored and we did a lot of strengthening work and release work as well. And it's such a deep muscle yeah. that I love the piece that to really see it in motion and to know how to recognize yeah. when it's on, how it's organizing with all the players. That's exactly. something that we all definitely And how need. you get your client to actually feel it themselves. Yes. So and that yeah. was really fun. And then the pelvis in motion, mm -hmm. which you were a lovely model for. <laughs> and it's just understanding kind of a little bit about the history of mechanics, who was discovering what and saying the spine moves, it doesn't move, SI joint moves, doesn't move, you know, these kinds of things that we keep, it keeps seems to be changing for us. And now I think the new science has come along to support, you know, fascia, ligaments, muscles, connections, and all of that. So when the pelvis is moving, right, it's the spine, the hip joints, sacrum, so we explored all of that in some simple movements. And with your scoliosis, yes. there was a little asymmetries that was really fun to work with. Absolutely, yeah. and I also think a really nice piece of it too was showing the assessments. Mm -hmm. Because I think that that's a lot of times we need that in the studio right. to really understand what we're looking at and then what we want to dive deeper into and cue. And that's something that I really enjoyed from being a participant Yeah, you know, this, Yeah, and the <laughs> assessment you can do if you want to do it with a client to see. But also just watching assessment just teaches you more about how to train your eye. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, I hear you have some very exciting news coming up about a book release. Yes, Do tell. yes. Oh, the three-year project. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully in August, maybe September. I'm not sure. We're very, very close. The forwards have been written. I'm going through the proof right now. And um, it's been a big project. Um, you know, I've done been writing manuals and workshops for years and years mm -hmm. and years and years. And people have always said to me, you know, well, don't you have a book? Don't you have a book? And I'm like, no, 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 but here, it's this book, and I read this book, and here's my <laughs> book, and there's my bibliography. Here are the books you should read. But isn't there a book that has like all of this together? No, you have to read all of these 50 <laughs> books I'm giving you a list on. You know, so that's what I kept hearing. Yeah. And then I had the opportunity with uh, Handspring Publishers uh, who are a, a company out of the UK. They're fairly new, I'd say, in the last like five years maybe. Um, they had come from a long history of being a, a science publishing uh, in that industry, and okay. then they spun off and did their own company. And so they're interested in movement and science and you know all of that in terms of, and nobody's really doing science movement publishing. So they have a little right. niche, what they're doing. And so they came, uh, they had a list of Pilates teachers that they had heard about, and they approached me and said, um, you know, we'd like for you to do a book. And I was like, wow. So I showed them some of my hand, they wanted samples of some of my writing. Right. So I gave them some of the manuals. So then it turned out it was like, all of Madeline's manuals from your feet to the crown of your head, we kind of put in this uh, major book. So it was a big undertaking. 
And the title is centered because as I was coming up with the title, I had a, a, a teacher who's been working with me for a long time mm -hmm. and I was fooling around with titles. And she says, you know, man, one thing you always say, there's one word you say all the time and that is centered. She goes, you say, bring it to center, 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 center. So I thought, okay, well, centered was just kind of, because to me in movement, what we're trying to do is we're trying to balance the body towards center. Mm -hmm. And it's the way that I've been synthesizing all of the studies and the different body modalities that I have studied and yeah. you know movement and therapy manual therapy and and then the science and the influence of all these incredible people that I've had in my life as a teacher you know, yeah. my teachers um, to synthesize that into this idea of like trying to help someone be organized in their body so <laughs> they move well so that word organizing got stuck in my head. So, so it's organizing the body through kinesiology, mm -hmm. uh, movement theory, yeah. and Pilates techniques. The techniques meaning, the word Pilates had to be in there, yeah. but Pilates techniques meaning I do use the apparatus, but I've kind of created these little different techniques to do what I feel like, how I can help a person get more organized. So it can be ordered through my website which is madelineblack.com, you know, and also handspringpublishers.com. You can also through there. That's wonderful. So, so then after the birthing of your book, what's next on the horizon oh. for you? What are you going to be working on? What's kind of inspiring you now after oh. that piece is going to be it's done? It's called Restoration. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline yes. Restoration. Okay. Yeah, you know, people have been asking me that question, but I feel like... Uh, it's, uh, I am reaching that point where I do need to restore. Yeah. I get my adrenals to kind of dampen down and uh, that kind of thing. So I just want to take some time just to kind of be at home, do my routine, be at my studio, yeah. and then just see what comes up. I need a little space around that answer. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this and coming into the studio and sharing with all of our viewers. You guys are in for such a treat for these three workshops. It was truly, truly a wonderful day for me. So thank you so thank much. You. And if you have any questions for Madeline, uh, go ahead and visit on the forum and we look forward to hearing from you soon.